Hi friends, here in this video, I'll be explaining a problem on free damped 1DOF system. So, let's get started. Now, here is the question. It is given an under damped shock absorber. So, I'll write that in the data. So, here we have an under damped system given. Whenever we have an under damped system, in that case, the damping factor zeta will always be less than 1. And this we are going to prove in the problem. Then, it is to be designed for a motorcycle of mass 250 kg. Such that during a road bump, the damped period of vibration is limited to 3 seconds. So, that is the damped period of vibration denoted by T suffix P. It is given as 3 seconds. Next, and the amplitude of vibration should reduce to 1 18th in one cycle. So, what is the meaning of this is that first of all, the number of cycles denoted by small n that is equal to 1 and the vibrations or the amplitude of vibration should be 1 by 18. It means I will say that let x0 be the initial amplitude. It may be in terms of meter and similarly x suffix I will write down 18 so that we can understand this. Now this is the final amplitude. And the final amplitude is after we can say 18 oscillations. It means here what is happening is initially the amplitude is x0 which is the maximum amplitude we can say or the initial amplitude. Then that amplitude will die down gradually because that is the behavior of an underdamped system and it is 1 by 18. So what is the meaning of it is that the final amplitude is x suffix 18 initial amplitude is x0 so that is 1 upon 18 it means if x0 is 18 then x18 would be equal to 1 so the amplitude dies down and it reduces to 1 by 18 by in one complete cycle so this relation would be used in the problem next Find the stiffness of the spring required and the damping coefficient of the shock absorber. So, stiffness denoted by K and the damping coefficient is denoted by C. So, these are the questions in front of us. Now, let us get started with the solution part. By first using this amplitude ratio, I am going to find the logarithmic decrement which is used in the underdam system. Since the logarithmic decrement is given by this is the formula of the logarithmic decrement. Logarithmic de decrement would be having a relation with the damping factor or the damping ratio zeta. So first I need to find out this logarithmic decrement wherein this small n indicates the number of cycles. Now in this problem it is mentioned that when one complete cycle is completed the vibrations are reduced to 1 by 18. So therefore the number of cycles are 1 hence n value is equal to 1. Now x0 by xn, x0 is the initial amplitude, xn is the amplitude after or we can say when it reaches the value of 18. So that is the 18th amplitude. So x0 I can say that therefore x0 upon x suffix 18 or xn after one complete cycle will be 18 upon 1 that is 18. So instead of x0 by xn which is x18 over here that would be having a value of 18. So therefore the logarithmic decrement on calculating it comes out to be 2.89. Now this logarithmic decrement can also be written as 
it is 2 pi zeta upon root of 1 minus zeta square. Now in order to calculate zeta, I will simplify this formula. For that I would be using that is therefore squaring on both sides. Because I want to replace this root sign, so therefore this will become delta square is equal to 2 pi square, so that becomes 4 pi square, zeta will become zeta square, in the denominator here we have root of this term, when we take the square of it, then the term under the root sign will be retained, so we have 1 minus zeta square. Therefore, this would be shifted on one side. Delta square would be multiplied inside. So, we have delta square minus delta square zeta square. Since I want to calculate zeta, that is the damping factor, I would be placing zeta terms on one side. So, we have delta square is equal to 4 pi square zeta square plus delta square zeta square so therefore zeta square would be taken common here we have 4 pi square plus delta square now keeping zeta on one side or we can say zeta square on one side so we have in the numerator delta square upon 4 pi square plus delta square now taking square root on both sides so we have instead of zeta square zeta instead of delta square we have delta and whatever the term is there in the denominator will come under the root sign so this formula is to be used while calculating zeta that is the damping factor if the logarithmic decrement is known now i'll put the value of the logarithmic decrement hence zeta value on calculating will come out to be it is 0 0.4178 now after getting zeta since the question is we have to find out the stiffness of the spring so therefore I can see that stiffness of the spring would be calculated from the natural frequency of the system it is given by root of k by m keeping this as the first equation now mass of the system is given that is the mass of the vehicle it is given as 250 kg in order to calculate the stiffness we require natural frequency and for that since it is a damped system here it is mentioned it is an under damped system so therefore I can say that the damped natural frequency is given by this would be present only if there is a damping given in the problem so therefore the damped natural frequency is given by omega suffix d is equal to omega n under root of 1 minus zeta square and this would be the second equation now in order to know omega n first we should get the value of omega d and omega d is the circular frequency or we can say that it is the damped angular frequency so therefore Omega D can be found out for that I am just explaining a small concept here that since we know Omega is equal to 2 pi into if suppose we have N and this N indicates the revolutions if it is in the form of revolutions per second or Hertz then that is called as the frequency so if this N is in terms of revolutions per second 
or if it is in the form of hertz or cycles per second that is called as the frequency so we can see that omega is equal to 2 pi into f and therefore this frequency f it is nothing but it depends on time so like it is cycles per second so since the second we have in the denominator it means that this frequency is the reciprocal of the time period so frequency is equal to 1 upon the time period so the formula would become 2 pi upon time period and this formula by using this we are going to get omega d the damped natural frequency because the damped oscillations are given as tp the time is given it is 3 seconds so therefore omega d would be equal to 2 pi upon 3 and therefore omega d value will come out to be the damped natural frequency of the system or the damper and that is it is 2.09 radian per second now putting this value in equation number second and even zeta value is there we can get omega n so therefore put zeta and omega suffix d in equation second so we have omega d it is 2.09 omega d is equal to omega n under root of 1 minus zeta square so omega d and zeta are known we can get omega n on calculating this omega n value will come out to be 2.30 radian per second and after getting omega n I can put omega n and mass in equation 1 to get the value of stiffness so therefore put omega n and m that is the mass in equation number 1 so we have in equation 1 omega n is equal to root k by m putting the values of omega n and m omega n 2.30 mass of the vehicle or the motorcycle is given as 250 kg so therefore stiffness will come out to be the unit would be in terms of newton per meter because omega is in terms of radian per second so therefore it will be 1322.52 newton per meter so that's the first answer so after finding the stiffness the next question is I have to calculate the damping coefficient C calculation of damping coefficient that is C now since the damping factor or damping ratio zeta is given by C upon CC by definition of zeta And therefore zeta would be equal to c upon cc is given by the formula 2m omega n and next and how this formula comes from for that you all can refer my video whose link would be provided in the description below to understand how the zeta and cc value comes out to be now putting the respective values zeta it is 0 0.4178 2 into m into omega n which is 2.30 so therefore the answer of c that is the damping coefficient comes out to be 480.47 newton second per meter so that is the damping coefficient for the spring mass system or the damper given in the problem and here both the questions have been answered and with that the problem gets completed at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching